Hi, this is John, and welcome to Light of the Scripture, uh, protecting you against the woke, evil mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. Today we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. And it's talking about God here. It says, You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Are you trusting in God right now? And uh, would you like to have your mind at in perfect peace? Well, there's a lot of people that don't have their minds in perfect peace, anything but it. Uh, they're, um, the world, you know, which is under Satan's control, uh, has a great deal of chaos in it, a great deal of confusion, and uh, it's anything but peaceful. Uh, but here we find out that uh, perfect peace can be achieved in this life. And we have a promise from God that he will keep us in perfect peace if we're his children, if we have a relationship with him, and then if we keep our mind on him. Uh, the things of this world, they uh, are terribly distracting, and they really, uh, you know, vie for our attention. All the wars and rumors of wars... Um, the media, the entertainment, um, you know, family, and just various things going on, tragedies, and they constantly uh, go for your mind, and they want to, uh, Satan wants to kill, steal, and destroy, so he wants to destroy our peace, and, uh, but now, when we've got a relationship with uh, Jesus Christ, whenever we've made him the Lord of our life, um, and uh, have uh, uh, repented of our sin and turned away from that sin, um, when uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit's within us, and that will give us supernatural peace. Fact is, it's one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit peace, love, joy. Uh, those are all fruits of the Holy Spirit. And I'm sorry I'm getting a lot of notifications in, but. Um, we uh, see that uh, when we've got that supernatural peace, that comes uh, not just from the Holy Spirit, but also from Jesus Christ. And um, we, if we keep our focus on Jesus Christ and the things of God, and um, sometimes on other people that we need to help, then uh, that peace uh, can swell up inside of us if we're, we are born again. So this is an absolute true verse here. If we can keep our mind stayed on God, then that peace uh, can uh, uh, well up with inside of us. And here I'm getting all those notifications trying to disturb my peace. Um, that's Facebook for you. <laughs> but uh, um, we uh, know that uh, God wants to give us perfect peace. Sometimes we just got to turn things off and get to a place where it's silent. Uh, this is what Jesus did. He even got away from his uh, apostles and disciples and would go uh, pray many times in the middle of the night where he knew he wouldn't be disturbed so he could talk to his father. And uh, he uh, probably got a lot of uh, things that tried to disturb his peace. fact is, I know he had a lot of things that tried to disturb his peace. But he made quiet time to get with God. We should have quiet time with God every day. And sometimes we have to work at that quiet time, as you can just see. But um, we can't have quiet time even in this society. And um, if we need to, we can turn off our phone, turn off our TV. Uh, all those things that might distract us. And uh, look to Jesus and, you know, be in prayer. Well, there's two more, <laughs> okay, and um, and uh, we need to, uh, you know, this world would love to distract us, love to uh, get our minds off the things that we should be thinking of, but here we find out that we have perfect peace when we focus solely on God. This is John with Light of the Scripture encouraging you to uh, get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.